First home league winning season and a clean sheet, you must be delighted with that. Yeah, uh, I think for the most part we were very dominant and um, another good performance from the boys and three points is important. Uh, a clean sheet, we should have had more goals, but listen, that's the way it's going for us at the moment. We've just got to wait until all those chances turn into goals and, uh, and we'll definitely be on the right side of a good scoreline. But the most important thing to me was today, we're, we're, I think we're now the, we're the last unbeaten team in the league. Fantastic achievement for the football club to be this far into a season and, um, and to be unbeaten. So full credit to the players. Like I said, it's a fantastic achievement. It took a bit of a while to get going today, but once you did, you know, completely dominated and it was a deserved win, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, I think you have to give the players credit because teams now have a decision to make. Do they come and attack, take us on? Or do they sit back and hope, hope we make a mistake and they get a goal and hang on to it? So I think that's respect to the players, they've earned that. And um, I think Crawley decided to sit back and, and get numbers back behind the ball. Typical, you could tell that they've been coached by an Italian, very organised, very you know, gaps, difficult to play through. So um, listen, we, we, got the, we got the job done. Like the team plugged away and it was Ruben Reed who got the goal. That, that's three goals since Dorje left. He's just stepped in naturally, hasn't he? Yeah, Ruben's been, obviously, he's, he's the main man there now up front. And uh, we put Tav up, Tav up there with him to try and get a little bit more, or try and create some more chances. Um, but, you know, it's different ways to win a game. And um, we found a way today. We spoke on Thursday about the impact of the subs. Again, George Williams, he came on really mad in, but it was after that that the goal came. So, mm. must Willow, be is, manager. Willow is a very, very good player. And I, I feel as he's still getting over a terrible injury, injury he had. And um, I think once once his body settles and he gets to grips with it, he's going to be a real acquisition for us. And he'll, he'll start to gain a place in the team regularly. Um, at the moment, he's a real impact and a real threat off the bench, and he, he takes the opposition back another 10 yards because of his pace, which enables us to play and, and keep the ball even more. And he had a, he had a really good chance himself. Like, like you said, I suppose the only minor criticism is the fact that you didn't score more goals today. We had some brilliant chances. You know, Lloyd James had a couple of great chances. Liam Shepherd's had a, a tap in. Willow's had a couple of good chances. Millsy's hit the bar. It looks like it's him. We look as though there's one that's gone behind, behind the line. So we've had umpteen chances to, to extend the score line. But we didn't, but we still won. A couple of bit of injuries before the game. Grubb missed out yeah. and James Montgomery, which meant Lewis Thomas is back on the bench. Any news on them to how long are they out? Both backs, back spasms. So um, Grubby didn't train all week. Monty felt he's on Tuesday, he's not trained. So we had to call Lewis back from Yate. He's done really well at Yate. And, um, and we had to call him back today. And, and Grubby, like I say, Grubby's not fit. So I suppose for Lewis Thomas he'll be here for the foreseeable until gentlemen. Yeah, it's important we manage his development. We think he's a good goalkeeper, but it's important that he plays. So if Monty's going to be fit for next week, then we can let we can let Lewis go back out and, and maintain his progress and, and we'll just have to see how grubby he is this week. And it's Macclesfield away next week, they've just dropped to the bottom of the league. Does that present, you know, a really big opportunity to build on this fantastic result today? It's an opportunity but it doesn't make it any easier. You know, they're scrapping for everything. I know Mark Yates, the manager, played with him. A uh, really good, good guy, and uh, he'll be scrapping and fighting. He was as a player, and he'll he'll be transmitting that to his players. And they've been some, on the wrong side, some really tight games. So we're under no illusions how difficult that will be. All right, cheers, Mark. Thank, Thank you, you. you, Mark. You've jumped up into the table today, up to seventh. Now, is that about where you think this team should be? No, I think we should be higher. If you look at the games we've drawn, that we should have should have won. But we we don't want to be greedy. We are where we are. We just take that on its merits and move on. New kit today, so there were no bad omens today, were you? you new kit, away. and you've, I've got away with it. got away lightly, never mind the kit. <laughs> um, now the kit, yeah, it's been a, it's been a long run inside, but not it? We thought we had a really good kit sponsor in Hummel, but um, they completely messed us about, and we've had to go elsewhere. And we have our new kit now, and, and we've won in it. Yeah. Do you see now, you say your team can go higher and should be higher, you're, you're aiming for promotion this season? I'm just, uh, <laughs> come on. Uh, I think we have to take every game on, on each individual, individual merit, different challenges ahead, it's a long winter ahead. We have some good players, we have good momentum, we're unbeaten, but done nothing yet. Well done today. Thanks. Thank you.